Welcome back to Husker Talk with Tommy Frazier. The defense only gave up seven points. Uh, what was your general impression? I thought I thought they did some good things, but I still feel that there's there's some holes in that defense. You know, defensive line for, for early in the game, I saw them get pushed off the ball a bit in the run game, and that and that's what it, I think. Think teams gonna take some and say, hey, this team really can't stop the run. You know, of course they're supposed to do that versus Chattanooga because the Chattanooga offensive line wasn't that big, wasn't that strong. But but they will get to the point to where they're gonna start facing teams. To where they're gonna pound the ball at them, you know. So I felt the defensive line played well at times. But they, at times they did. Linebackers, you know, it's, you know, the things I thought was gonna happen happened. Levante David played well, but Compton and Fisher didn't play well, you know. So that, that's something that we gotta find guys that can go out there and play the game consistently. And secondary, there's a lot of holes in the secondary. I'm sorry to say that, but wow, you know, you got you got Andrew Green out there, you got Siante Evans out there, and then you still got the same safeties back there. The guys who, to me, hasn't improved. Mm -hmm. So you got guys that will we keep saying that this team is going to be better, but you can't be better if you got guys who played for you a lot who haven't improved. And perfect example, on that long touchdown pass. I know everyone thought it was Andrew Green's mistake, but they were in, they were in too deep on that side. Yeah, so, no. so, so he had no help. The safety is supposed to help on that play. It didn't look good that uh, Green fell. But if you if you look at the film and, and you look at the sideline, Bo Pling didn't go to Andrew Green. He went straight to Cassidy and said, "Why come you weren't? How come you weren't there?" Mm -hmm. You know, so there's still a lot of holes in that in that secondary. So we thought last year that secondary was very good because they had the two the two corner guys and, and Denard and, and, and uh, Amuka Moore. But this, this group is it's cool. It's gonna be suspect in that secondary. <laughs> well, let, let's start up up front uh, with tackles, um, Crick and Baker Stein Cooler. You know. Their performance, they weren't the they were they, they were in the backfield a little bit, but you expected that just shutting it down right right from the yes. Yeah, so I expect that versus Chattanooga. I expect for those guys to to just be in the backfield. I expect for the when what they did, they did for the most part, you know. But I, I still I still felt that they probably took a couple plays off that they shouldn't, you know. So, but overall, I, I give I give them a good grade because they because they you expect for them to make plays and they did. You expect for them to control the defensive line and they did, and that's all you can ask. Yeah. Jared Crick made made one. Highlight real play where he kind of laid out like Superman for an athletic uh, defensive tackle was a great play. But the guy who really caught my eye, someone who had been out um, with the spring with uh, surgery, was Cameron Meredith. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Cameron reminded me of a Trev Albers. You know, it's what a coincidence they were the same number, I think, 34. Yes. You know, so I, I think that's the one guy who that's the one guy who, who, who said, you know what, I'm going to show people that I'm here this year and I'm, I'm here to, make, I'm here to make, some, make a name for myself. And he did that. I mean, I think he had one of the best games, an open game that anybody ever seen at Nebraska on defense. You know, so I think they're gonna build from that. Also, um, on the other defense team, I can't think of his name right Jason now. Jason Aker making Jay, his Jay, first Jason start. Jason making his first start, but I'm telling you, he looks very, he looks like a very good specimen in that uniform, and he's only gonna get better. You know, so I think they got some, I think they got some talent on the defensive line to be better. The question is, do they have the depth? Mm -hmm. and, and we won't know that until they start facing teams that are gonna power, 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 mm -hmm. power. Fresno State gonna be one of those teams to do that. Mm -hmm. You mentioned Cameron Meredith's game. Cam had two sacks and an interception, and Josh Williams actually blocked the uh, rush in, blocked the field goal, but he uh, was able to pick it up. So he had the ball twice in his hands, and, you know, right. he could play two, ten more years and never get, get a chance like that. But uh, Jason Anker, I thought, was really solid at the other end. And more than anything, it's not really putting pressure on the quarterback right now, but they're going to need to really anchor that side, especially when they go into the Big Ten. And, facing those defenses, because coming into this year, we, we knew we had Cameron Meredith. Right. And with Pierre Allen, who played just probably like Cam last year, probably 80% of the snaps. So we really didn't know if we'd have that second guy. I think we have two really solid rush-ins. I think we do. I think you go. I think well, once those guys mature and, and get and get that, that game time experience, you're going to see guys like like what we had, like Jared Thomas and Grant Wisdom, Dwayne Harris, I mean, Dwayne Harris and Dante Jones, Travis Hill and Trev Albers. Yeah. You know, we could have bookends like that, but they're young. And, and when I say young, young as far as playing experience, young as being starters. But once those guys really get the game, oh, it's, it's going to be good watching those guys. It'll be fun again. Yeah, I think we have some depth behind those guys. I mentioned Josh Williams, Eric Martin, the converted linebacker, and then Joe Carter, a uh, Juco transfer. So there's, there's bodies and names, and there is depth. But where there's a lot of concern is depth and just overall ability at linebacker. Levante David, like you said, you know, coaches – Rarely go out of their way to praise people. They said, look, he's better than he was last year. But after him, it gets a little iffy. Yes, it does. And that's something that we'll talk about when we come back. On Husker Talk with Tommy Frazier.